So thyroid antibodies, what are they? If you're watching this, you probably know what they are. Thyroid antibodies are, a, are a, the diagnostic criteria to determine if you or someone that you know has Hashimoto's. In this video, we're gonna get right into Hashimoto's, what thyroid antibodies really mean and what you can do with them and what you can't do with them. And we're gonna start right now. Well, hello everybody, I'm Dr. Glenn Harrison and welcome to this week's segment of Why. This is where we take just a few minutes to answer some of the most common health-related questions that I see in my office every day. So the question is all about antibodies. So this is a very specific video for specific individuals. Thyroid antibodies. Well, if you have them or if you're trying to understand what they are and or you've been diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder called Hashimoto's. So if you are able to find, or if you identify that you have thyroid antibodies on, on a blood panel, um, it is a diagnosis of, of Hashimoto's. And, and if you have a diagnosis of Hashimoto's, it really means that your immune system has targeted your thyroid and is trying to damage it, or it is damaging it. So that's what it means. Now there's two forms of thyroid antibodies, and if you have either one of those that are positive, it is a diagnostic it is, a, it is a diagnosis of autoimmune thyroid disease, also, also known as Hashimoto's. Um, one antibody is called thyroid peroxidase. On a lab panel, it might, might, be, it might show TPO. Uh, another one is thyroid or thyroglobulin antibodies. The, this, is, this is just another one. So e if you have either of the two, it's a diagnostic criteria of Hashimoto's. Many people, and this video is for, for these individuals, many people have, have antibodies and they don't understand what they are, and they, they've maybe been told, and this is inaccurate, or they're either told it doesn't matter, don't worry about them. <laughs> You'll see that a lot of times from certain medical providers. And then the other thing that people are told about the antibodies, we gotta try to get them down. Well, both of these are false. It is, they are important because it's an autoimmune disorder. It's a diagnosis of autoimmunity. So you have to start looking at how can you manage autoimmunity, how you can correct autoimmunity. I have many videos on autoimmunity. It's something we work with in our, work with in our office every day. So it is an autoimmune condition and it's important. I have a video I'm gonna have in the, in the, in the comments below. It's gonna be a video link under this, under this video of, um, of all about thyroid, so you can understand Hashimoto's and what to do about it and all of that. A lot of information in that video. But, so that's one reason. The other reason of this video is people are told that the goal is to try to get these antibodies down. So if you have too many of them, that's the problem. It means that you, you have a diagnosis of Hashimoto's. And I, I actually have this diagnosis. I have elevated thyroid peroxidase antibodies. And it's something I have to be careful with. So far, I'm not on any medication at the time of this video. Um, I'm continuously monitoring it and managing it with uh, lifestyle and checking my numbers to make sure they're okay. So I don't have any symptoms. I'm very fortunate. I caught it early. And maybe you have too if you, if you found your antibodies. Um, but the goal, and this is the big thing, the goal to try to get them down, it's, it's not relevant. And the reason why I say that is antibodies are like a roller coaster. They'll go up, they'll go down, they'll go up, they'll go down, and they do not... The, there's no rhyme, there, there's reasons for it, but it's not an indicator of severity. So the higher your antibodies are, it's not a clinical indicator of Hashimoto's is worse. We used to think this, but we, it isn't. So if you have very high antibodies, it, you know, get it looked at, get a medical provider or a functional medicine doctor to look at them or reach out to us, we can help you as well. But they can go up and down. So they're not an indicator of clinical severity they're an indicator of how frequently or how, how much your immune system is, tar is marking your, tissue, your thyroid to damage it. But the nature of antibodies, antibodies do not just damage anything. They, they, they mark a tissue that they don't like, whatever tissue it is or whatever bacteria or virus, they mark it as bad. That antibody tells the immune system, hey, immune system, now you got to attack it. So it's not an indicator of damage and it should never be an indicator of, of what you're doing 
it should never be a goal to try to get them down because sometimes they'll go up, sometimes they'll go down. So hopefully that creates some clarity because I get a lot of people, uh, we need to get our antibodies down and I'm like, actually, we shouldn't focus on the antibodies. We should make sure your thyroid's making the right amount of hormone and you don't have any symptoms. So that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. In fact, it's all in the video below. So I hope this was helpful. Give you some indicators, some indication and understanding of what these antibodies mean if you have them, if you've been properly diagnosed with it, and, um, and then how to understand them. I think that's the most important thing. So I uh, highly recommend, if you haven't already watched the, the, the video link below, that's gonna be on my thyroid presentation. I talk about the antibodies, I talk about clinical strategies, I talk about solutions, it's, it's, there's a lot there. So I hope this was helpful. If you've got some information from this channel, I'm putting on more and more content every weekend, every month. Every, actually every week we're trying to um, make sure you subscribe so you can get more information and learn more of these health related topics because you're not going to want to miss any. With that being said, I'm Dr. Glenn Harrison. I look forward to talking to you next day. Have a great day.